When I was young I never needed anyone And singing songs were just for fun Those days are gone When I'm alone I think of all the friends I've known While I dial the telephone Nobody's home Sometimes I feel so insecure And love so distant and obscure Remains the cure Hey! 
Everybody, welcome to the beautiful Casino Rama. Yes, ma'am. Here in beautiful downtown Aurelia, Canada. Yes. We're downtown? Yeah, we are. Where's the subway? I don't know. No subway. I'm trying to somewhere. I'm going to pay my fare. Wrong I hear thing. you. But anyway, this is what you know, we've, been, we've been coming here for a lot of years. It's been a long time. First long with time. Dick Clark. Yeah. First time like 15 yeah. years ago. Was it 16? Yeah. It was a tent. <laughs> it, was, it was not the, wasn't a hotel here for sure. But um, anyway, we want to welcome you. I'll tell you what. Let's all take an imaginary trip into the grab bag of time. Way back! Back to 1958 when I was a wee little Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, wait a minute. Hold just one minute, please. It came out, then we sang all by myself. Did all by myself, yes. And then, and then we did. The great, great, on my then, with the, uh, uh, hey, hey, Willie, what's the next song? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hmm? Yeah, I, wait, wait, I've kind of forgotten. Wait, you mean to jump hmm? little Anthony? Huh? Come back up here. Okay. Every time we come to the Yukon, you forget. <laughs> what's the matter with you? You mean to tell me you forgot the name of the next song? The next song. Yes, I forgot it. You see, when... When you get a little bit older, you tend to forget things. Well, well, wait, tell wait, tell these folks here somebody in Aurelia. Come here, man. Would on. you like to know how old he is, folks? Exactly. Tell them how old you really are. 39. You're not 39. Yeah, right. 30 oh, this is a song you don't like, man. Don't he don't you? like this song. Truly, That's why he forgot. It, truly, this song like is not one of my favorites. No. The, the song sold over a million records back in 1960. Yes, it did. But I still don't understand what it means. This is my favorite song. Every song is your favorite. It doesn't matter. What you, the, uh, so I'm going to do it because see, it's in the, in the contract. The, we, we haven't got paid yet. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, oh! downtown Aurelia, Canada, huh? Hey, guys. What? what? That was my wedding song. Whoa. It was. We shimmied all night. I bet you did. It's her favorite song. <laughs> A little Cocoa Pop, too. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, Yes. After all the years that have went by, mm. now it's just a prune juice cocktail. Mm. That's not good. That's not good at all. And on your way out, you can get it at the buffet. <laughs> With a brand muffin chaser. Oh, please, come on. Yeah, but that's my favorite song. I and love that song. That was favorite song. I was um, the guy in the native hut. Yeah, you probably smoked that hut too. I now anyway. I can't get back into the States. <laughs> Stop me at the border. You smoke the hut. You know, I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good time to introduce all the guys on the stage. I want to take this time. I know a lot of you, th thank you. For their, their sake, they, 
we, they should be honored and recognized. And we'll take that, that, that time to do that because, well, actually, it's tradition. It is tradition. Yeah, it's written in the Handbook Guide of Entertainment. It's the law. That you're law. required to introduce everybody on the stage. That's right. So I will, I will do that, you see. And also, you know, it, actually, it is tradition. You know, you know how long that tradition goes back to? It goes way back. It goes way back. all the way back, 800 years ago. The King Arthur's Court. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's King Arthur's music, too. <laughs> The, the old king, see the old king, he, he required the main jester, which is moi, at, to introduce all the little jesters. <laughs> what was the main jester's name? I don't know, Harry. I don't know. Oh, hi, Harry. And Harry also, Jester. you know, he took iron, he's the first guy to take iron, and then he would stick it in the water, right? And oh, then he come put it in the on, fire. Man. And he put it in, in, hey, in the Anthony. water. And then he put it hey, in the fire. Anthony, and, excuse me, man. Huh? Anthony. What? This is a concert, man. We're not waiting. talking about the History Channel. Will you introduce us, please? You act like you know everything. You act like you know everything. Absolutely. I don't know everything, but I did stay at the Holiday Inn Express last night. Oh, come on, man. You really did. Oh, come on. They don't we even have actually, that Actually, we really did. <laughs> Little ass. We did. Introduce it's been a long week, you guys. <laughs> and okay, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, the founder of the Imperial's Clarence Collins. <laughs> Ernest Wright. And the incomparable Robert DeBlanc. And my name, ladies and gentlemen. His name? My name is Jose Himan. <laughs> It's lonely on the road. I watch a lot of TV. Nick at night. <laughs> I, I don't know. When of old shows. But anyway, they show Ed Sullivan, you know. Anyway, yeah. And 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 we we've, we've been together long. We've been we've Your been name a long time. is Anthony Gordine. Yes, that's right. You didn't say that. Oh yeah, my name is Anthony Gordine. to call me little. That's right, don't call him little. Don't call him little. Don't call him little. Don't, don't call me little. Don't do it. I'm a grown man. And don't call him little. Woo! Don't call him little. Don't call him little. Shut that crap out when I'm talking up here. All that boomity boom boom, the boom boom. Where you think you at, Kitchener? <laughs> you are here in beautiful downtown Aurelia, Canada. <laughs> Aren't yeah. we close to Moose Jaw? No. <laughs> I love Moose Jaw. I bet you're the only person I know. I love the isolation. <laughs> the I tell you what. Let's all take an imaginary isolation. trip again. Back to 1964. me who 
Running around, actually, the day before, what was it? Friday? No, Thursday. Yeah. We were supposed to be here, and yeah. we hit a snowstorm in Cleveland, and we, Cleveland of all places. Anyway, and we got we got stranded there. You yeah. spent the night in the Igloo Hotel. No, no Igloo. It was in Cleveland. Of course, again, that could be Cleveland. I mean, <laughs> but we we spent the night. So it's been a long night. None of us got any rest, man. Nope. We just got here. Actually, we just came in. We, got, we made it, y'all. We made it. We made it. So I'm, he made I'm it. out here working hard here. You're out there working hard. You don't know how hard I'm working, ladies and gentlemen. This song. I'm working. You don't know what I'm putting into this show right now. <laughs> what are you putting into this show? I have no idea. Anyway, I thought it was a good idea. Hmm? Oh, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert Dublon. Monsieur Dublon. Hey! Come on, Canada. What? You don't have to be beautiful to turn me out. I just need your body, baby. Get that thing out of my way. Ha! From dust to dust.
Genesis. She don't have to be rich. No, well. Gotta so be rich for me, baby. <laughs> Living up here with all these oil sands, man, they got to be rich. Boy, I'm telling you. They don't have oil sands? Up yeah, boy, he's gotta take a breath. <laughs> he's poor, worn out guy. It's been long, I'm telling you. Boy, we had no sleep. <laughs> sleep, what's that? <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we need to do that. We do, let's do that. I'm gonna try right, So far, folks, so far. My, my Are you having a good ready. time so far? I'm out of here. All right. And, and I want to know something. How many folks are out there uh, from Aurelia here? Nobody. One, two, three. <laughs> That's because they don't have no How many folks are from Toronto? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. What about Moose Jaw? <laughs> Moose Jaw? How about Regina? <laughs> Regina. Uh-oh. Nobody's from there. All right, well, I just yeah, want to tell you, man, we're happy that you came in to see Little Anthony and the Imperials. And uh, after the show today, folks, tonight, I don't know where I'm at, man. But after the show tonight, we're going to come out. After we get out of these suits, we're going to come outside. And we want you to go outside. There's, they have a bunch of CDs and pictures and stuff like that. We want you to go out there and buy like five or six each. Oh, yeah? yeah. And, and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to come outside. You know, and, 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 and tired as we are, we're going to come out there and sit down in the chair, sign everything that you got, shake your hand, and thank you for coming in to see little Anthony and the Imperials tonight. Right, you know? right here, live in Aurelia, Canada, hey? You know, the people out here, they don't feel the cold. They, they don't know. You know you, what? Do you feel I think like we should take the people back. You know, I was going to say that. Yeah, man. You know, Folks, what? how would you like to hear a story about how they first started singing. What? Ooh. Really? You like to hear that? Okay. Here's what they would do. What they would do is they would go down, they'd gather up, and they'd go down to the subway with all that tile on the, yeah. ooh, ooh. On the wall and on the echo. ceiling, which yeah, makes for natural, like, yeah. beautiful acoustic stuff. Yeah, from Brooklyn. Yeah. You could hear the echo. Yeah, yeah. And they could hear the echo. And then after they'd do that, what they would do is they'd get together and they'd go down to the street corner where the street lamp was. Street lights. And all the girls, would, girls all the yeah. young girls would gather around. And, yeah. See what these cats were putting down. You know that good old fashioned Acapulco soul. You know wait, what I'm saying? Ho, hold it. Hold it. Wait, wait a minute. Rob. No, sorry. Wait, 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 Robin. No, wait, Robin. Wait, Robin. Wait, 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 Acapulco. It's not Acapulco. No. It is Acapulco. No, no. It's no. Acapulco. It's, no, it's, it's called, the kind of singing, man. It's, no. it's called Acapulco. Acapella. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> 
No, wait. No, you just that line. That's what I said. No, see? no, no. I'm going to tell him what it is. It's called acapella, man. That's acapella. Acapella. <laughs> I told oh, you. Now you tell me. I know. We told you to stay in school. We told you to stay in school. I went to high school, man. You didn't do it. But you know what, Robert? I think you're right. It's a great story. It is. And we really don't have time to tell it all. Because if we told it all, <laughs> we'd be on entertainment. Good night. <laughs> Wait, no. But you know, Robert is right. We're going to take you back to how yeah, it first started for us way back then. We're getting very silly, I know. But, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, saying that, it, this was a two-sided hit. In those days, you should, used to be able to have that. You know, the old 45s, you know? Seventy eight. They called it the A and the B side. Well, this should have been, actually, the A side was originally the A side. And we were the only, I think one of the few people in the show business that ever had two million sellers on the, on the same on record. one disc. And Mr. Ernest Wright here wrote this song. He wrote it. Back in 1957, yes. I wrote the song? That's what they told me. Yeah, yes. You you, I didn't write no song. Yes, hey, you, oh, you having a senior moment up here or something? <laughs> you wrote ginkgo, the song? Man. The one you came and told us and said, oh, you mean this song? That's right, gosh. No, that song. The guys are right, I remember now. Back then, ladies and gentlemen, when I wrote this song, Sinatra, Howard Hughes, yeah. and myself, yeah, yeah. we had something in common. <laughs> Come on, man, nobody knows nothing in common, common, with common with them people. Common, you got some common. What? We were in love with the same woman. Oh, no. Mm. You remember the beautiful actress Ava Gardner? Yeah. Man, late one night, late late one night. night. Mm, my greatest fantasy oh, came true. Oh. That's right, old Maya's right, lady. <laughs> it's more than old Maya. <laughs> I sat down and I put paper to pen. Hold it. No, it's called pen to paper. Thank That's you. what I said. <laughs> and I started writing these lyrics. Man, the next morning, my hand hey, hey, was hey, so sore. Hey, 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 hey. Because it's all the night, I was right. Wait a minute, man. Wait, and, and wait a minute. It, it hurt. No, no, no. No one wants to know about your hand. No, we don't want to know that. But it hurt. <laughs> I guess so, but nobody wants to know about it. I'm going to fist bump you from now on. <laughs> all night, I kept changing the lyrics oh, to oh, this song. Sorry, I didn't. To make this song what it is today. Oh, I thought you, you know was what? talking about Ava. I thought yeah. I was talking about Ava. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing I was ambidextrous. Hey, oh. <laughs> Get back over here, man. <laughs> I don't know about you. I mean, the guy in the red shirt. He's, he's, he's ambidextrous, too. <laughs> so, maestro, yeah. see if we play. There's just two kinds of people
about two years or so, and uh, and we like to sell it wherever we go or get you a chance to hear some of the stuff that we're doing that's pretty different from what you're accustomed to, but it's just great stuff. And um, and it's called You'll Never Know. That's the name of the, the a album. Oops. No, oh. CD. Mm -hmm. CD. Mm -hmm. And it came out around the same time we were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's right. Same, same time. That's right. So... You know this song? You don't know this song, but then if if we don't sing it, then you'll never know. That's the name of the I forget it. Let's do it. You'll never know.
from the new CD, You'll, you'll Never, never know. know. I ain't falling. And you'll never know unless we tell you. My, my, Especially my, the ambidextrous my. guy over here. <laughs> songs and the pills not recorded this song is my favorite and I hope while I'm singing this song ladies and gentlemen I don't start crying oh don't do that man man please don't, don't do that don't come to Canada and cry last thing you want to do, do that man. Man. I don't want to cry well, don't do it it's well don't a, do it it's not a pretty sight because if I start crying man, I'm gonna have to blow my oh, nose come on man oh, oh, get out the See the size of that nose? It's as big as the Provence. <laughs> you see, ladies and gentlemen, this song reminds me of my first love affair. She was ugly. She was ugly, man. She was ugly, boy. That's right, she was ugly. <laughs> Matter of fact, the hunchback of Brooklyn. She was from Windsor, wasn't she? <laughs> Yeah, a little Ooh. ugly, little ugly thing for Windsor. That's cold. I was 12 years old. He's a little guy. And I lived in a little country, little country village. You might have seen it's down south on the East Coast. In fact, it's around the New England states. New England states. It's a beautiful place. Weeping willow trees, running brooks, little cottages along the seashore. Hey, there's his house. <laughs> Uh, Brooklyn. Uh, what? And like any inner city kid in America, especially during school time, I love to play basketball. I love it. basketball in school. School and basketball was my whole life. My whole world. And I was happy. He could good. He was good. I was so happy. The little guy could play. I was so I was happy huh? until she came into my life. All the gin joints in the world, she showed up here. She was from Canada? <laughs> yes. Well, I hope this song doesn't bring any unpleasant memories to you, folks. I just hope you will enjoy it. I know.
guy was hurt. We were there. You know what? I'm tired of singing sad songs. You're tired of sad songs? I want to sing something happy and gay. Something happy and gay? I need gay? something happy. Anything like this one. Yeah. How many of you folks out there like reggae? How many like reggae music? Yeah. I'm going to ask that question one more time, man. How many folks like reggae? People over there. You like reggae way over here. Yeah, All you guys are way over here. Hello. I'm singing today's reggae. Yeah, but these people don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How many folks out there understand what I'm saying? I told you, that, man, they're drinking the same thing I am. <laughs> How many folks still don't, don't understand? The whole audience did not understand. Okay, I'm going to sing this in English. You're going to sing it in English? With, with my professional accent. Sing it in French. OK, here we go. Very, very clear that I love you, my dear. Man, it's a love. Yeah. Remember this one? Woo! I can see clearly now the rain is gone. When's the rain? I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone of the dark.
Clarence Collins. Ladies and gentlemen, the man is from the island. Clarence Collins, ladies and gentlemen. What island? He's from, he's from the islands. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That, that, man, that man ain't from no island. The man is from the islands. I've known that man all of his life, and he ain't from no island. Man, what's wrong with your face, Whoa. man? The man tell you I ain't from the island, I ain't from the island, man. From the islands. Well, what island is that? Coney Island. Coney Island? Uh, You're a long way from Brooklyn, man. You got airplanes. You know something? I feel like singing the blues. Blues, okay. I no want to sing the blues. He's got I'm the blues. Sorry. I got to sing the blues. I'm ready blues. right now to sing the blues. Hey, hey. <laughs> In the moment. Oh. Oh, yeah. No. 
Sneaky love. I love sneaky yeah. love. My. A love song is a love song. That's what they go around telling us. Especially this one. Because we had the great pleasure of recording this song in 1966. We sold over a million records. And what I love about this song, ladies and gentlemen, it deals with all kinds of relationships. I, I'm not necessarily talking about young lovers, though that's part of the song too. But I'm talking about people who are in love, like mom and dad, brother and sister, friends even. Friends. Like right now, I know a lot of y'all came in here with your friends, huh? How about it, friends? Hopefully you'll leave here, friends. Even with those things, you know. And mm. <laughs> but you know, we are, we've matured enough to be honest with the audience as much as we possibly can. And I just wanted to tell you folks that we've learned in our travels around the world that audiences are generally the same. That's right. But what I mean to say is that, well, not everybody that came in here this evening came in to see us. That's right. You came in here because your friend asked you to. Because your friend asked you to come. You don't even know what a little Anthony in Imperials is. You, you don't know. know. You came in there because your friend asked you to. But your friend knows. Where's your friend? Now, I'm not going to stand up here and act like I'm holy and thou. And I don't have these kind of problems. I got friends. He's got friends. I got plenty of friends. Plenty of friends. They're my friends. Mucho. Oh. My wife's my friend. Wife's I've learned something, folks. I'm not going to let a trivial argument get in the way of that relationship. No, I'm going to nip it in the bud before it gets out of hand and walk right up to her, look in her eyes, and say, Take me back. I'm begging, please. Take me back. I'm on.
Hey, Anthony. What? Would you tell all of us, man, did she ever take you back? No! Huh? Did, didn't you hear me just tell this artist we sold over a million records? Yeah, and? What I need her for. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's from the States. Hey, Dr. Drew. <laughs> he's from the States. You know why she didn't take you back, man? Why? Because at that time you weren't sexy then, and you That's why she didn't take you back. <laughs> you gotta be sexy to be the taken back. Sexy? You, you, I, well, don't tell me I ain't no sexy. Would you, I don't. Hey, man, I know! <laughs> Suggestions. He's so nervous, avoiding all the questions. His lips are dry, his heart is gently beating. Don't you just know exactly what they're thinking? And if you want my body and you think I'm sexy, then come on, sugar, tell me so. If you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Come on, sugar, tell me so. You see? You think I'm sexy? Hell no. Well, defining the word sexy, you I have to look no in the dress, Webster dictionary to find out. My, my. <laughs> and of all the songs and pills that I recorded, ladies and gentlemen, this song does not come along but every 20 or 30 years. They call it a standard, which simply means a lot of people are going to be singing this song long after we're gone off of this earth. But the one thing that makes us feel good is that it was written especially for the Imperials and myself in 1965 by the late Teddy Rondazzo, 
Bobby Weinstein and produced by the late, great Don Costa. Now we're told by the recording experts, the Imperials and I are the only recording artists that ever sold over four million records of this song. We hope you enjoy it, but above all, we hope you remember it. Well, I think I'm going out of my head. Yes, I think I'm going out of my head. see us wherever you live in Canada or anywhere that you happen to be and you look up on the marquee and you see our name you better come in and see 